Hi, I'm Cinda with Choice Medical Group's Senior Kicks Club. Today we're going to do a craft together. The craft we're going to do, I've been calling our little bee pot. It's a ceramic pot. It has some, in this case, I made it with wires, but we're going to make it with some jute twine. We have some decorative flowers on it. And this particular one, I was working on trying to figure out a bee that would work for everybody. So this one has several different kinds of bees. If you don't have, what we ended up getting in the end was Easter eggs to make your bees. Remember, you can do anything you want. Some of these are made with little clay. They're all in different shapes and sizes. The other thing that we're going to be using to add flowers to these little bees and have them settling on is our dollar store lays. The little pieces of plastic between make a perfect item to tuck on here and put a little bit of a flower underneath our bees. So let's get started. Paints. Put out my black. My yellow. And I'll wait on the green just a little bit. One of the things about the less expensive acrylic is that it does have a tendency to dry out rather quickly. So I'm going to start with a line straight above my pot here and follow it around. Some of you may choose to paint the entire thing yellow first and then go around with your black afterwards. Some of you may decide to do like I'm doing here and start with a stripe around. Remember these projects we do together are your projects. You can't do them wrong. our little beehive. Each one of you will make your own choice whether you want one stripe, two stripe, three stripes, four. These are your crafts. You make it the way you want it. I just enjoy doing them with you. You don't need to paint all the way down inside your pot. Just paint the rim. I found by setting it down, I was a little easier for me to get my lines straight and to get this rim a little easier. Sometimes I get a little shaky. I shake my little lines get all wobbly. So 
I'm going to take this moment now to blow dry this particular line so I can set it down on the table. Now that I've got that a little bit more dry, set it down and finish my stripes. enjoy doing these crafts with you. I hope you have someone with you that you're able to sit and do them with. I look forward to the times that we're going to be able to sit down in a classroom again together and do these. However, we're still going to do them online for you because we know so many of you. It's difficult to get away, but we still want to make sure everybody has the ability to get involved, to be a little active with us, and share these times. Do remember if we're going too fast that you have the ability to go back and watch this video as many times as you like. There's a place where you can make comments. We sure would appreciate it if you could make a notation as to how you felt about the craft we did today or if you have an idea on something that we should do because it sounds like fun to you. If you like the videos, we appreciate it when you click on it and let us know that you did like it. I'm always looking for suggestions. There we go. One of the things that I have on this little bee pot up here is the door to the hive. And I'm going to make sure I get that painted in on this one also. Let me clean my brush. Some of you may decide you don't want to put that door on there. That's all right. That's a personal choice again. It being your project, I want you to do it the way that you would like to do it. First little one that I did, I only brought that little door down to the edge. It was a little bit smaller pot that I was working with. This one I've decided, because it is my craft, just like it is yours, to do it a little differently. So you can do it any way you like, or you can leave it off. But I've decided to make my door come all the way to the bottom this time. I'm going to take a moment and I'm going to use my hair dryer and I'm going to go ahead and dry this pot now.
So now I've got my little bee pot dried off. And I'm going to start going ahead and doing some of the decorations on it. One of the things that I think I want to do, like our little pot up here, is I'm going to add some flowers to the top of it. I don't want to disturb those little flowers by pulling my string through them later. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my eggs I'm going to snip off one end of it. Now some of you will have four or five eggs if you've got your own. If you got the packet from us, you have four. Take, if you'd like, a small piece of wood, a couple of toothpicks, a safe, uh, not a safety pin, but a paper clip anything that you can use to tie your string on so that it won't come up through the hole. In this case, I happen to have an extra eggshell, so I'm going to use it. I've tied some beads to the end of a string. Some of these beads come on the little lays that can be purchased at the dollar store. And that, anything you'd like at all to make kind of a knot that cannot pull through that hole. I've cut off a piece of this twine and I'm just going to poke it through my egg. And nip off this little bit of extra string here. With my hot glue gun in the bottom here, and if you have, if you're using a paper clip, if you're using toothpicks, whatever, just throw a little glue down in there so that when you pull that string through or you pull that through, the glue holds it to the item. And now I'm going to thread this through my pot. going to add a little glue to the top here so that when I pull it quickly down into there it will actually stick to the pot as well. As you can see it's got the glue is right there and it's helping to hold that into place. This is what we're going to be hanging our little pot up with. And now that that's set Let's go ahead and take a minute to get our eggs prepared. I'm going to open each one up. And I'm going to cut off varying lengths of my jute. As you can see, each of these bees is held at a different height. Pull them out. Snip off the length that you choose. I have some that I've pre-snipped here. And as I go around each egg, I'm going to put just a dab of glue on the egg so that it stays in place and doesn't open up afterwards. I'm going to take a piece of that string, stick it right there, and clip it inside so that when I have snapped my eggs closed again, it's glued in place and the egg is now glued closed. And I'm going to go and do that with each one of my eggs. This so when we paint them and hang them, they aren't going to pop open on us.
if you're concerned that you might not have gotten enough glue in there, you can put a little dab of glue right there at the top where you put that in, if you're not certain if you secured it. Hot glue does tend to dry kind of quickly. So we want to make sure that we get this done fairly quickly after we put the glue on there. This one, some of the glue popped out. I'm just going to spread it a little bit. And we're going to let those set up for a moment. So now I've given this plenty of time to dry. I made an extra long string because I'm not really certain where I want to put this. And the flowers that I purchased in the way for the sunflowers here, they each came with some leaves attached to them. So for some of you, you'll want to go ahead and add these leaves to the top as part of your decoration. Some of you will not. Some of you will strictly stick to the little flowers that you got off of the little lay from the dollar store. However you want to decorate this, it is absolutely your project and you enjoy it the way you want to do it. For me today, I'm going to add some sunflowers and some leaves. This is where our glue gun is so nice to have. Put a little one there. that flower over there a little more. I'd have to hold it in place for a moment. You can see on the back side here, just going to add some more glue. Doesn't have to be fancy. We just want it all glued in there. If you feel like it's coming loose or it's too loose for you, Reach in there with that glue gun, add some more. I'm going to pull my string around so that I make sure that it's staying in the center and I haven't glued it into a bad spot. Now I do think that these little flowers are really pretty. And so I want to go ahead and put a couple of them up here just because they are so beautifully bright. Put a little dab of that. And then I'm going to dab another little piece in there. And then one more of that really bright one. And just hold them down for a minute so they can set up. And it kind of hides the back side a little bit too so that you don't see any of the glue spots that you did. Give that a minute to set. And spin this around. So one of the next things that we're going to want to do is we're going to paint our bees. And our bees are going to be painted similarly to our little bee pot in the yellow and black stripes. So go ahead and paint your bees. If you have yellow Easter eggs, as I did in this case, you may decide you don't want to paint anything except the black stripe. So now we have each of these yellow ones, little eggs, painted all yellow, and we want to add our black stripes. So again, some of these bees in the background have no stripes. Some of them have three and four stripes. Other ones have two stripes. This is all a personal preference. We're going to be adding a little piece of pipe cleaner to the end of our bees for their tails. And we're going to add it to the top of their head as little antennas. We're going to also be adding some eyes on here. But let's get these stripes on here first. If you're wondering 
can send out. You're doing Easter eggs, and Easter is not happening right now. I was actually able to find these at a craft store in their surplus area near the party items. And I noticed they had many, many of them. And that was more than one store that had it. So check, just because you don't see them thinking it's Easter time, they're not up front, doesn't mean they're not there. I want this little bee to have a little yellow face. I want him to have a little black bottom. I'm going to get a good stripe around the center here. I'm going to make the end of the egg that's narrower his little bottom area. And as I did with the yellow, as soon as I get the black on here, I'm going to take my hair dryer and I'm going to make sure that he's well dried before I set him down. I noticed when I was doing my first little bees, because I tend to get impatient, I wanted them to hurry up and be done. So I had a coat hanger and I hung each of the little bees from the coat hanger and then they could all dry in the air and I wasn't using the hair dryer. So just because I'm using a hair dryer doesn't mean you have to. Just make sure that each little item gets dried off before you go on to the next step. just because I'm choosing to paint him with just the one middle stripe and the little bottom being black. doesn't mean you have to. If you decide that you'd like to have his little bottom yellow so that you're more able to see his little stinger, you do it that way. Let those set for just a moment. And we're going to start to put together some of our flowers. I'm going to hang little flowers underneath each one of my bees. You choose and put on any little flower you choose. You can do like these with just a single flower. You may choose to double them up and put a double flower under each one. It's your project, as I've said. Now, as a matter on those lays, I told you they have these little pieces of white plastic between each one. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue one of those into the center of my flower. can be a little hot, so give it a minute to set and push down on a table however you want to do. These are going to be the little flowers that our bees are landing on. So we're going to get the bottom piece done first. So as I'm waiting for those to set up, I'm going to take a marker and I'm going to draw my little face. I want each of my little bees to be smiling. Now normally I would say go ahead and do that with your paint, 
That's all right. If you don't have a marker and you'd like to do it that way, if you have a marker, it definitely makes it a little easier. I'm going to make him singing since he's got that little hole right there. I'm going to put him singing a song. Now that we've completed our little faces, we want to make sure our little bees are ready. We're going to put this right, bit of glue right on the top of that little post, and we're going to stick it to the bottom of our bee. Hold it there for a moment. Let it set. There we have our little bee. I'm going to tip my pot over. the next step I'm going to be taking is going to be putting each of my bees attached to the inside of that pot. So let's take a moment and stick all of our butters, or all of our bees, little flowers on them. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to attach our bees inside our little pot. Little glob of goo from our glue gun. Just tap it into place. Let it set up. We're going to go all the way around our pot this exact way. that a minute to set up and we're going to put their wings on them. While those are setting, let's make our wings. You're going to take your jute, just kind of wrap it around your fingers a couple, three times. And cut it back by the beginning. I'm just going to take this like that. I'm going to take my glue gun and on the top of my bee, I'm going to put a substantial amount of glue and I'm going to stick my little wings right into that glue. This is our little wings in flight. And again, we're going to repeat that. Squish it down. The top of my little B. 
Yeah, good block of glue. Center those wings. Push them down into the glue. This one here, some of the glue got away from me, so I'm going to put a little bit extra in there. Just kind of twist those little wings up. They stay right together. flight. if they get away from you. Just kind of push it down in there. I think we're all we're letting those wings set up. We're going to finish off our little pot. I'm going to take just a little tiny bit flowers on here first. have to do this. If you decide you like him just like he is, without any of the extra flowers, that's fine. I just wanted to have a little more fun. And again, you can get these little flowers. They're actually little buttons. this particular set at the 99 cent store. 